What's up guys, this is Trail, better known as Budget Bill, and a lot of times on this channel we talk about how you can obtain this credit card or this credit card so you can take advantage of the large welcome bonuses which offer you free money, free rewards, or free travel, and there are a few mistakes that beginners end up happening and that's what we want to talk about today. The top five mistakes regarding credit cards that you need to avoid. That's our topic. Let's jump right into it. What's up guys? Glad to have you. And today we're going to be talking about the importance of getting credit cards and using them. So credit cards can definitely be a great thing to have if you use it properly because they are the best way to build up your credit as well as uh, get free travel or just get free money back and put it into your pocket. It's really an advantage that uh, we try to teach you on this channel and why we choose to use credit cards. And the most important part of it is you want to use credit cards properly such as you know the slogan when it comes to drinking you want to drink responsibly well the same thing with credit cards you want to use or swipe responsibly and that's what i want to discuss with you today which are my top five rookie credit card mistakes that you need to avoid and the number one thing on our list today is racking up credit card debt when you don't have the money to pay it off now i know we've all come victim to this you know, you want to go on that trip, you really don't have the money, but hey, I'll just go ahead and use the credit card. I'll, I'll pay it off within the next six months. No problem. But what tends to happen is then you end up finding something else that you don't want to miss out on. So you end up swiping your card again until the point to where you've actually charged five different things at the same time. And you keep telling yourself that hey i'll pay it off within the next six months i'll continue to make extra payments and you know this is the trap that we all fall victim to and it pretty much gets us in a bind from day one a lot of times uh people have gotten credit cards when they were in college and they treated it as if it was just uh, money that they didn't have to pay back and they ended up suffering from it and which caused them their credit score to drop so that is definitely um, a mistake that you do not want to have. So if you are a beginner to the credit card, you definitely want to avoid that. Don't use your credit card on a purchase that you don't have the money in the bank right now to pay it off, okay? Our number two on the list is paying your bill or your credit card bill late. This is definitely a no-no. As we've talked about on previous videos on this channel, your credit score is comprised of several different things. And one of those things is your payment history. Your payment history covers about 35% of your total credit score. So if you're late on paying for your credit card bill, you're immediately going to be affecting your overall credit score by 35%. This is definitely something that you don't want to fall victim to. It's definitely a mistake that I see a lot of people doing up front when they first get started and they end up, oh, no problem, I'll just pay it a day later. Uh, it's something that you want to get in a good habit of, which the habit I like to choose and I like to tell people about is pay the credit card bill right when you receive the credit bill. That is the best way. Don't set your alarm to pay it on the last day because you end up getting into the cycle in which you're always going to be last minute. You want to be responsible about owning credit cards and you want to pay those off early as possible. And even if you can go a step further, pay your credit card off every week. Every week, log into your account and make payment to your credit card so that you can keep it at zero. This is a good practice in which you need to start up front paying your bill on time, paying it early. Don't fall victim to where you end up having to pay for your bills late. Number three on our list is you miss credit card payments. Now this is definitely obvious. You don't miss your house note or your rent note. You don't miss your electricity note because you're gonna suffer consequences. If you miss your electricity bill and you forget to pay it, 
you're gonna have your lights turned off. There's no way around it. So the same thing with your credit card. Think of it as if you don't pay your credit card bill and you end up missing it because of um, lack of responsibility or whatever the case may be, they're, they're not gonna cut your credit card off. They're just gonna charge you the extra interest fees plus the extra late fees, plus they're going to report it to the three credit bureaus in which in turn will make your credit score go down. Uh, each credit card has the option in which you can set that credit card for auto pay and you can set it to at least make the minimum payment of what's due on your credit card automatically. So that's a good way to jump ahead of the game so you can set that just in case there's a time when your brain fails you and you miss to make a payment on your credit card. So up front, go ahead and set the auto pay for the minimum that's due and then you still remember to make the payment. So if you do make the payment, then there's no auto pay that's going to happen. Number four, don't get angry because you speak to customer service about your credit card and they upset you and you just go AWOL and you're like, you know what? I don't need this. Go ahead and close my account. Close the card. I don't need you guys. I'll go with somebody else. You have to control your emotions. Don't ever close any of your credit cards out of anger. You need to be responsible when it comes to credit cards. If you don't wanna be responsible, then don't get credit cards. But this is an adult game. You wanna be responsible about everything that you do in life because they have consequences. Before you close any credit card, you wanna make sure that you think about it and you make sound decisions. One reason you don't want to close your credit card is because your total credit score is comprised of how long you've actually had credit cards. Uh, whatever the reason may be, you either want to downgrade your credit card or just move it over to something else before you close your card. But definitely do not close your credit cards out of anger because customer service wasn't able to give you or respond the way that you were expecting them to. And the number five on the list is applying for too many credit cards at one time. So if you are a beginner and you're just now starting with this um, obtaining credit cards to receive the large welcome bonuses, you wanna be strategic on how and when you apply for credit cards. You, uh, you might get excited because you apply for your first card and you get accepted and you're like, oh man, that was super easy. I wanna go ahead and apply for more credit cards and you end up finding yourself applying for two to three more cards within a 30 or 60 day time frame. You wanna space these uh, applications out strategically. Now, me, myself, I have applied for more than two cards within one month. I've actually applied for two credit cards on the same day. But the next time I've applied for the credit card was maybe three months later. So you don't want to fall victim and get excited about applying for credit cards and receiving them and just applying for a bunch at one time because it makes the risk of your profile go up to the credit lender. The credit lender is going to look at your account, look at your credit report and see that they are really applying for a lot of credit right now and that seems very risky. Perhaps they've lost their jobs or they need a lot of money right now in which they're applying for all of this credit at the same time. So you definitely want to be strategic about how and when you apply for the credit card. And I would say um, I fly for you know one or two credit cards one month and then wait two or three months later before you apply for another card. That is definitely being a safe way um, in which you need to pursuit of new credit because this actually is about 10% of your total overall credit score. Those right there are my top five rookie credit card mistakes in which you need to avoid. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down below in the comments and I'll be sure to respond back to you. In addition, if you have not already, be sure to click the like button down below because it really helps out with the growth of this channel and it really shows in which uh, my viewers in what type of content that you guys are liking me to talk about. In addition, if you have not already, click on the subscribe button down below as well as the bell right now to it so you can be notified of any upcoming um, content that I upload to this channel. And as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by and I will see you on the next video. Peace.